right, this video, we're gonna show how to, how to fish mangroves with the paddle tail. This is a Slam Shady Bomber. I absolutely love this lure for fishing mangroves. It skips really nice. And, uh, and the key is we need to stay at least 30, 40 feet out and basically try to punch it. You wanna be able to get as, uh, the lure next to the mangroves as much as possible. So I like to keep it low and skip it up through there and, uh, and try to punch into any little nook and cranny you can find. And uh, what that'll do is that'll just significantly increase how many fish you're gonna be catching with it. Another tip is I'm gonna do right here on this edge is, is get close to it, get around a point and buzz right along the edge there and use the wind to your advantage. So the wind's blowing onto those trees and I basically cast it out to where I, I stopped it about a foot off the trees and I let the line get blown right up along the edge. And uh, that way that lure is basically buzzing right up along the edge of the mangroves that's in the strike territory. So obviously not, not every cast is gonna get them, but if you keep maximizing your odds like that, like right here, there's a little nook and cranny. We're a little bit close, but we'll be able to see an example. And uh, another tip too is to make it weedless before you cast. Let's just show that real quick. Is uh, dip, you know, dig, dig this, this hook point into the soft plastic. That way that is totally weedless. I can get really aggressive with the cast. And now Joe back behind me is starting to creep in my spots, but I'm just gonna punch it punch it up into the, into the little overhangs. And that's where most of the strikes will happen. Because those fish, they're usually gonna be up under the trees and uh, you need to get down there right as close as you can and, uh, and they'll hit it right as you're coming out. So another little nook right there, cast and then in a second on the next cast, we're gonna go hit this point, right? Any, nook and point, any nooks and crannies, um, but even especially now that we're in the fall when I'm filming this, points are incredibly productive. So the, the outside points of any little, even a minor point like this, we have a little cove. If you look over here, we have this little cove over here to the right, and then it shoots out, follow the left. The sun starts hitting those mangroves. That's a little, a little minor point. And then like it right in the middle of it is a little nook and cranny. So I'm gonna go in that little nook and cranny. I'm just gonna keep it low, keep it low and punch it through. So I, I, it first landed about three feet out and then it skipped about five feet. And so it ended up being about two feet up under the trees. That, there we are, that is the strike zone. And that is the best way possible to increase the amount of fish you catch. Had I just landed it right there at the trees, let's see what this is. Had I just landed it there right at the trees, right, it would have had, it would have been three foot less of, a, of, of ideal strike zone. This isn't a giant, but we've got ourselves a snook. Let's get this guy out because I see it all the time where people are, are just landing their, their lures around the edge and that's okay, right? You will catch some fish, but it, just the, the quantity is gonna be way better when you start, you know, get a good lure and punch it up under these mangroves. It's got them so good. Nice little snook. Punch it up under those mangroves and, uh, and just let the lure do the work. That's why this, if you haven't yet tried these, these bombers out, that they're, they're incredibly productive. It's a nice fat lure. And so what it does, it skips really nice. So again, and right now it's, it's still pretty weedless, but when you dig that hook point in, now it's super weedless. Now I can cast way up there into the mangroves. I can punch it up aggressively, knowing that the odds of getting snagged are very low, but as soon as that fish strikes, it's gonna pop that hook point out and then game on. So I just wanna give that tip. Uh, again, that's a, a, I wish I would've learned that sooner. I spent a lot of years fishing mangroves and I would always just fish like the, about a foot from them and beyond. And, uh, and that's just, yes, it will work. But when you punch in there, get a weedless lure and punch it up underneath those, those bushes, those overhangs, you're gonna skyrocket your results. Any questions at all, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best fishing club for inshore saltwater anglers, especially if you're going after redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee that you'll be catching more fish while saving both time and money. We do that through our premium education our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.